I'm Major Peterson of the Minnesota Vikings, and you're listening to BlackPressRadio.com. A passion for writing. From classroom teacher to best selling author, her works appeared in Essence, New York Times, LA Times, The Washington Post, Ebony, Seventeen Magazine, and Black Enterprise, to name a few. She became a regular commentator for National Public Radio's Morning Edition. B.B. Moore Campbell is a successful author with four New York Times bestsellers. Hello, how are you? Uh, it is uh, such an honor to be here and listen, but to stand up to the world. I do battle for the creation of a human world that is a world of reciprocal recognition. That's what she was doing with her literature, doing battle for a human world. So we sat down and did some books and sent it back upstairs, and they said, okay, the next quarter you can do it. And we did it. We did it. And the second week into the course, a young sister got up and said, I hate all black men. And I, who was a new teacher, I, know, I was a young teacher, had no place in my syllabus for someone who said, I hate black men. And oh, what I did have, though, in, in, course, in my head, in my, in, in my head, in my hands, is that we went, I went and grabbed her and held her, and we supported her tears. And what it was, for the first time, we were hit with something called incest. And I came back to my syllabus and, and inserted that. And that whole weekend, I spent at the library trying to figure out how you would insert that. I mean, this is history and history we're doing. Because the books weren't there. So I had to go to the soci sociology text in order to do something with that. And then, I don't know if they remember, I remember because it's ingrained in my brain, a brother got up and said, I hate all black women. And I thought, this is it. And the people who were monitoring the course were writing seriously, trying to figure out, see, we shouldn't have had this course. And I was so scared at some point, just trying to keep this class together. And then we held him also, too. And his thing was simply about that his mother was always telling him, boy, keep still, boy, keep still. You can't go out, boy. You can't go out, boy. You're going to get killed. And, that was, and so we had to explain that to him. But we finally got together, and we began this whole discussion about what it was to be a black woman coming from the continent of Africa, staying in a place called America during our enslavement period, coming through the civil rights period, all the way up to that, this revolutionary period that we were in. And it was amazing, amazing motion and movement. But you know what happened is that when you do a course like that, and the little literature that we had, you couldn't fit it in to any ideas that you needed to deal with. And so one night I went home because we were reading a text, Clotel, and I couldn't fit what was happening in there with what I knew in terms of the sociology and the economics. And one of the things that I began to look at simply is that we had a major discussion which we inserted in that syllabus also, something called secondary consciousness. I began to talk about how black women began to look at black men secondarily through the eyes of the slave master, which, was, which made us begin to understand what was happening on campus between the men and women. Got to hear that. And we began to put it into some kind of context so therefore we could begin a discussion and understanding what had happened, which no one had really talked about. And also we began to talk about before these sisters had these gorgeous naturals, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera that black women began to look at themselves secondarily also through the eyes of the woman, the white woman, you know, sitting on their morning verandas, you know. And that's why Gwendolyn Brooks would write a poem, you know, about, um, simply about going into a free deposit, give me an upsweep, you know, like Jim Harlow. Um, so we began to talk about this and began to understand, and I just wanted to, to say that that memory um, of those young sisters and brothers on that campus uh, were amazing memories. So I want to just say hello to Mrs. Doris Moore and to Mr. Ellis Gordon, to all the sisters and brothers who, who knew this great woman, who read her work, who understood fully of what it was to have a woman who could write in such an interesting, 
are still way, but can bring us to an understanding of what literature really was all about. I want to begin by calling on what I call living and ago resistors. I call on Joanne Gibson Robinson, Rosa Parks, Octavia Butler, John Lewis, Dorothy Cotton, Charlene Hunter Gold, Gloria Richardson, John Condes, June Jordan, Cynthia McKinney, Mary McCloy Bethune, A. Philip Randolph, Herbert and Faith Apfecker, Adam Clayton Powell, Geronimo, Geronimo Pratt, Thelonious Monk, 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 Maria Wright Elderman, Tony K. Bambara, K. Ball, Barbara Lee, Barbara Deming, Ann Brayton, Maria Stewart, Charles Houston, William Hastings, Angela Davis, Mary Church Terrell, Sojourner Truth, Shirley Chisholm, Catherine Dunham, Bill and Camille Cosby, Elizabeth Kaplan, um, Reverend Helen Butts, Maurice Bishop, Nat Turner, mm -hmm. Megha Evers, Maya Angelou, Oprah Winfrey, Cornell West, Tavis Smiley, John Coltrane, Shirley Brown Du Bois, Jean Hudson, Mr. Michaud, Richard Moore, C.L.R. James, Gandhi, Grace and James Fox, Nicholas Guillen, Darwin Walter Lomax, Pablo Neruda, Brendan Brooks, Mumia, Amini and Amina Baraka, Askio Ture, Lucille Clifton, Alas Poets, Bessie Smith, Hakeem Adabuti, Dorothy Day, Yuri most deaf, dead friends, common, Ida Wells Barnett, Betty Carter, Infunde Ella Baker, Father Paul Washington, Dolores Berta, Chris Pony, Willie Cosicilli, Ethel Hedgeman Lyle, Oliver Combo, The Roots, Eric Magruder, Miles Davis, Sejar Chavez, Kimako Han, Odeka, Sweet Pony in the Rock, Bernice Regan, Brian Burroughs, Brandon Lou Hamer, Victoria Gray, Annie Devine, Walter Rodney, Thurgood Marshall, Charles Caldwell, Dead Prez, Athena Shakur, Audrey Lord, John Bracey, Sitting Bull, Kathleen Cleveland, Lolita Lebron, Lily Avery, Louisa Moreno, Jose Martin, Diop, Vito Martin David Walker, Margaret Walker, Alice Walker, Maxine Green, Inkuma, Robert Sabukwe, Dinah Washington, Max Roche, <laughs> Ella Fitzgerald, Sarah Vaughan, Abby Lincoln, Oscar Brown Jr., Ray Charles, William Wells Brown, Sterling Brown, John Brown, Berto Breck, Donnie Mama Susulu, Martin Delaney, Louis Burnham, Mandela, Nelson, Mandela, Winnie, Paola Puma, KRS One, Dr. T. R. M. Howard, Charlene Mitchell, Lauren Hill, Erica Badu, Ursula Rucker, Cecil Gray, Tosha Regan, Julian Bond, Charlie Cobb, Harry Belafonte, Danny Glover, Luke Ellington, Ruby Doris, Nikki Jameson, Andy, Abraham Heschel, Bob Marley, Bessie Head, Franz Fanon, Walter Mosley, Michael Weaver, Linton Cressy, Johnson, Archbishop Tutu, John Henry Clark, Bob Moses, John Killens, Queen Mother Moore, Moon, Silver McClark, S.K. Infrarelli, Bobby Sands, Patrick Hill, Tony Marathon, James Bowen, Grace Paley, Allen Ginsberg, Barack Obama. <laughs> Blackfishmanagement.com and DC Libraries. You can listen to the podcast for the late people in Campbell here in Philadelphia, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. For more information, search blackfishradio.com, keyword author.